In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Our Lady of Revelations, Saint Joseph, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Will there be any faith when the Son of God comes on the clouds, the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ? No, not the faith of lukewarm Christians, but strong Christians formed in the Immaculate Heart of Mary. For as the recent blessed Pope Paul VI had said in the closing sessions of the Second Vatican Council 50 years ago, to be Christian is to be Marian, who formed the apostles, the pillars of the church after Jesus had left, none other than the mother of the blessed sacrament, Mary, our mother, the mother of Jesus, Saint Bede the Venerable. He was the one who made and was quoted by Pope Francis before his installation as Pope as when Christ looked at Pope Francis, he looked at him with mercy. So St. Bede again being quoted describes the event to come of St. Mark's Gospel. Jesus said to his disciples, in those days after the time of distress, the sun will be darkened, the moon will lose its brightness, the stars will come falling from heaven and the powers in the heavens will be shaken. The laws of physics will be taken away. Now here's what St. Bede says. In the day of judgment, the luminaries of heaven shall be darkened, not by privation of their light, but by the approach of the true light of the world. That is the great judge, Jesus Christ himself, and what cause for wonder can there be that man should be terrified at the thoughts of the last day when the angelic powers shall tremble? How will our body stand the shock? When the pillars of heaven shall be moved, people as at Fatima on the 13th of October 1917, a 30 days before the end of the First World War, 70,000 people saw the sun move off its axis, come plummeting towards earth, instilling fear of the Lord and repentance into the hearts of those who were there. And then replaced itself, the sun replaced itself with the hand of the Immaculate Conception, Our Lady of the Rosary. Yes, she is the mother of us all warning us not to sin anymore, to pray the rosary daily. To pray the rosary and to propagate the rosary is a sure way to heaven. Quoted by many of the saints. When Our Lady spoke to Saint Dominic, she introduced him to preach and teach the most holy rosary against a heresy which he was having no success in bringing about and returning people to the truth. The rosary is on a par according to St. Louis Green de Montfort of the Divine Office. St. John Paul II re-echoed the words of who propagates the rosary shall be saved. St. John Paul II re-echoed the words that Blessed Bartolo Longo had resonated in his soul when the forces of evil had moved him into contemplating suicide. Bertolo had already converted, but caused to enter into the sins of his past, which had been forgiven. Blessed Bertolo, having confessed his sins years earlier, he had, in that trial period that he was going through, after his mother had died, he had entered into occult practices at the university where he was studying and he became a Satanist priest. He did repent, as I had said, but he was still suicidal. 
Blessed Bartolo, with these resonated words of Our Lady, he who propagates the rosary will be saved, turn to justice and organise festivals, rosary rallies, and the construction of a cathedral, a basilica to Our Lady of the Rosary in Pompeii, Italy. St Bonaventure, the seraphic doctor, on a par with St Thomas of Aquinas, said, those who prevent the recitation of the rosary will be damned. Simply, no matter what is to come, if the laws of physics are removed and the world burns, you will be ready to die and go to heaven, providing you have said and propagated the rosary. Our Lady asks that the five decades, 50 Hail Marys and five Our Fathers be recited every day. She told little Jacinta, who was seven years of age, Francesco, who was eight years of age, and Lucia, who was 10 years of age, to say the rosary every day. Our Lady was persistent and reminded them, the three little seers, to pray the rosary every day. She said this at all of her apparitions. At Fatima, from May 13th, to October the 13th in 1917. She reminded them six times as there were six apparitions. Our Lady was persistent. We also must be persistent in telling and leading people into the rosary. <coughs> what are we afraid of? May the Blessed Virgin Mild bless you with her little child. <laughs>